Welcome back to another walk around and test drive at Coyote Classics. I'm Dalton. That's my father, Chad, the owner of the store. And today we're going to be checking out a very special 1987 Grand National. This is a 26,000 original mile car, two owners, still has the dealer plastic on the front seats. And the story behind this car is very neat, which we'll get into. Not only is the car very original, very nice, but um, really highly optioned as well. It's got a factory Astro roof, which is extremely rare. In 87, there wasn't exact uh, production numbers on you know, the Grand Nationals with the Astro roof, but they know that only 2,500, um, all Regal models had the Astro roof. And then some people say, you know, doing the math, that there's only 50 or fewer Grand Nationals with the Astro roof. Wow. Kind of crazy. Um, also has the digital dash, which is an upgrade, um, the security system, all kinds of great options, but just about as clean as a guy's gonna find. Very nice low mileage car. So you went and looked at this uh, collection of Buicks that we bought. Do you wanna explain a little bit on the story? Yeah, um, real quick on the story, we did a little thing on our YouTube channel here a couple weeks ago on it when it came in, but the story is the guy I bought it from was the second owner. He had it uh, for probably 15, 20 years, something like that. Um, he was actually the one that checked this car in. He worked at the, uh, the Buick dealership at that time. He checked it in and also did the sold ticket on it, so he was really attached to it. They didn't get many Grand Nationals no. back in those days, right? especially a small town dealer. So, he's so he was attached to it. Um, it's got sold locally, and he ran, a, he ran into the guy a little later. Um, couple times and just kept saying, hey, if you ever want to sell it, everyone sell it, give me a call. Sooner or later, he ran into him and timing was right. And the way he cared for it was just was just crazy. Um, so much documentation that comes with it. But this is what I find really fascinating. Original plastic still on the on the seats and it even says still, you know, uh, remove cover dealer must remove. And on the driver's side floorboard too, still has the original plastic yeah. on it. And the guy was crazy the whole time he he had it he had the you know the correct you know dash cover on it so the dash never got anywhere he had the plastic and then he had a seat cover over top of the seats um he had you know like all these little things all those little things over all the grab handles and how about these over on the, the pedal. pedals i mean just <laughs> just so they didn't uh just didn't get anywhere you know isn't yeah. that cool it's it's crazy that's why the car's in such great shape today um and again the documentation and, and original stuff that comes with it is is awesome, the original window sticker, all that sort of stuff. But also the original tires that were on the car, when the guy took them off and put new tires on it, he kept them, put the stickers back on them and, and they stayed with the car, we still have those. So they come with it. Was there another set of rims, the original rims too? And did he yep. go ahead and buy a brand new set? Yep. Bought a brand new set of rims because the other ones, you know, that gets a little old. So we still have the original set of wheels, but he put a brand new set um, on there as well. I mean, the car's just special. Michael gave it a little buff. You didn't really need it that much, but just the, we spent about a day and a half of it just making sure we get any of the little micro scratches and stuff if we can out. But it's a beautiful original paint, all original car as far as paint and interior. It's gotta be one of the nicest ones on the market and definitely you know, one of the rare, rarest options, um, Grand Nationals out there. Also the guy being a, a uh, mechanic for these cars, he still has, and it comes with the car, all kinds of you know, new old stock parts like in here, it's got the the other uh, panel with the gauges, but he's got this one original still in the packaging from uh, from the 80s. The spark plugs, I mean, just the list goes on. Brand new scuff plates, if you ever need them, everything's still in the factory GM mm -hmm. stuff. It just shows you just kind of how uh, particular the guy was, and the car, the car shows it too. The original paint looks awesome. All the plastic and, and uh, everything is just really, really clean. You drove this one, Dalt. Does pretty much everything work as far as Every, cruise and yeah. stuff? Yeah, everything works, cruise works. These cars are so much fun to drive. Tons of power, you can hear the turbo baffle. There you go. And I think the only other Grand National we've had and the last one we've had, I was about 12 years old and we went and bought it out of Waverly. We did, look at this, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's just, Car cover comes with it. I mean, the inside of the trunk, everything is just like brand new still. All original paint in here. It's like the car was just like kept in a bubble. Yeah, pretty much was. I mean, like you said, how many people uh, for two years or two months even keep the original plastic on the seats and floorboard? Yeah. For, you know, rather than 30 years. 
40 years almost. Yeah, that's crazy. But I'm glad he did because just look how nice the door panels and, and everything still is. Corner of the doors, jams. Yeah, the door panels, like, you don't even want to touch it. Uh, it's so damn nice. Even that, he always kept a little, they're in there still, but a little cover on the grab handle so they didn't get anywhere. And on the seat belts, look at the seat belts mm -hmm. and the chrome on them. Yeah, it's crazy. 27,000 miles, was it? Uh, yeah, 26. But the digital dash is awesome. You know, you could have got the... Yeah, that's a pretty rare dash. option, too. It is. And the five-way power seat, we forgot all about that, too. So power seat, Astro roof, digital dash. It's got the security system. It had the uh, concert sound system. Power locks, power windows, just remarkable. So like Dalton said, we're excited about showing you all the paperwork on this one too. And we're taking just a little more time just because this one's so special. Yeah. You know, we don't get too many just real time capsules in on a fast, rare muscle car. These things are really going up in value. Um, you know, for one, they're black, two, they're turbo. You know, they're just really getting popular. There's only other, I mean, as of today, there's only 12 for sale, you know, online right now. Um, really? I, guarantee, I guarantee this one's the best. It is. And not the most expensive even, really. Yeah, that's true. So if you're in a market for one and you want one of the nicest ones on the market, and it's just not on the market now, it's on the market really find, in the near future too. I went, I went on a deep dive too, just trying to find another one with an Astro roof that's for sale or has been sold anytime recently. Yeah. I didn't find a single one. You know, there's some with T-tops, but I didn't find another, uh, another I like sunroof the, car. I like the Astro roof better than the T-tops. Oh, Not too. just because I have the Astro roof, mm -hmm. right? But just for leaking and stuff like that. And you don't have to, you know, take the T-tops off if you want a little yeah, air. Enjoy you just it. hit the switch. This is really one, dude. I should just keep ourselves. I know. I mean, I almost wish it had more miles on it because then I could drive it a little bit, but I feel so guilty just because it's so clean. I don't want to put any more miles on it. Let the next guy do that. Look at the, cleanly, the cleanliness of the dash, steering wheel, I mean, no stickiness on anything. The center console is gorgeous. Here's your seats, guys, your power seat. That's nice, huh? It's cool. That works awesome. All the power windows work really smooth. Um, and then in here, of course, all this stuff, but also the operating um, instructions for the sunroof. sunroof. Cool. Yeah. So we leave the sunroof open or not? Yep. Um, I had the air on too. I don't know if it needs a little charge or. But it definitely kicks in. Never been smoked in either. Look how clean the ashtray is. That doesn't surprise me. But the air, air will work. It just needs a little charge, I think. It was fun to take. Usually people put a cover on, or, you know, one of those covers on the dash if it's cracked or if it's yeah. got some wear. He had it on this there. This one had it on there the whole time just to make it stay perfect. It's got the dual... Uh, the power mirror? Yep. Or, I mean, it's a remote mirror for yep. the right side, huh? But this is kind of... The digital dash is awesome. And you can switch it just by turning this knob from uh, kilometers to uh, miles per hour. Cool. There's kilometers, there's miles per hour. Yeah, let's leave it there. Gas gauge works 26,341 miles. They did, he did change out the original radio. Um, I'd be surprised if he doesn't have the original with it, but I guess I didn't, I can't tell you that. Radio works. And it's got a electric fan. Like I said, these automator gauges, we could, this piece is like brand new, but yep. we could definitely take that out. But, but we just thought it'd be cooler to... I thought this thing's worth more in the original plastic from the 80s than it is on the on the car. We'll have the Prius owner yeah. take them out if he wants, but... Yeah. Really, where else, if you wanted those gauges just to make sure nothing happened, where else would he put them? You know, mm -hmm. you'd hit your... Yep. Well, I've seen a lot of them have these panels, too. I wonder if... I think you can just buy it with the gauge. <laughs> it's awesome. It's just quick. That's awesome. That's a, that's all I'm gonna do, guys, with it. When I'm sorry. I, when I first <laughs> when I first drove it, I went to put gas in it, and I just turned and just kind of gave her gas and left like a 20 foot black mark. Really? Just on accident? Yeah. Here's the brakes are absolutely perfect. Horn works, radio works. Like I said, AC kicks in, so we'll give that a little charge. The AC will work and blow cold. Glow box lights yeah, still works. works. Still has a factory lighter in the plastic. Did you see that? That's crazy with the little bag. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's, uh, Ooh, it even comes with a quarter in the 
That's a quarter holder. I'm gonna shut. This thing shuts fast too. Yeah. Locks in nice, doesn't it? Yeah, this is a special car. Like I said, it should be one we just keep. Yeah, we're never gonna find another one like this. No. Not with no, this miles and options. I mean, no. or is nice. No. I mean, okay. miles don't always mean everything. Uh -huh. Condition. I mean, you could have twenty six thousand miles on it, and they freaking left it took shitty care for, of it. But yeah. this, even if they kept it inside, this is special. This is different. Mm -hmm. This had the most protection. The plastic still on the seats for twenty six thousand miles. The guy <laughs> yeah. sat his ass on the seat for twenty six thousand yeah. miles on plastic. And then he put a, a like a cloth seat cover over both front seats. Sure, he did. So okay. he just always had yeah. you know double protection. <laughs> double protection. <laughs> Drives perfect. The tires feel good. There's no vibrations. It was awesome. That yeah, drives like brand new. Here's your brakes. We'll set. We'll try the cruise and stuff here on the way back. Yep. Cruise worked when I used it the first time. How? How about how quiet it is? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's and the power locks perfect, were perfect. Quiet. Man, these cars are just so neat too. I mean, fastest cars around in '87. You know, the Grand National, the GNX. Damn cool. There you go. It is fast. It's not just fast, but I mean, look how it handles. Look how oh, yeah. it shifts. 80 mile an hour, just like that. It's awesome. It's a, a really fun car to drive just because it does handle so well, too. Let right, alone. but that's just but. not beating on it, not, not like that. That's just touching the gas and going, you know? It's fast. It's got speed alert. Miles speed hour. alert. Speed alert. It's blinking on us over 85. <laughs> Yeah, that digital dash is, is neat. You know, even all the ones for sale right now too, I've noticed they don't have a digital dash. You know, all the ones uh, on the line right now are, you know, the analog gauges. Oh, we're gonna check the cruise, sorry. It's got tilt wheel as well. Yeah. Right turn on shows that. Oh, that's see neat, that? I didn't know that. That's sweet. Um, let's see, we didn't check wipers either. Wipers work. Um, cruise cruise works, but put, uh, turn around there it? and show them. Yeah, it Can works it and so right? does the oh, adaptive. You and yeah. you, it's got the adaptive where you can speed up just by hitting that little, you know, switch over. Oh yeah, speed you up. There you go. Yeah. Man, that turbo sounds awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. These are special cars. Like I said, if you want the nicest Grand National you're probably ever gonna find, Check this one out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Give us a call. Um, you know, probably never going to find another one like this. Look at the oil pressure. Yep. 40 pounds. Temps running about 160. Awesome. Good yep. car. Check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.